can't believe you won three games in a row. Yeah, it is unnatural. <laughs> Have you got some cards hidden up your sleeves, huh? If you own up to it now, maybe I'll lessen your punishment. Don't make me pat you down. I'm not opposed to frisking you. My only concern being you might enjoy it a little too much. <laughs> and I would expect nothing less of you. Mm-hmm. You had your chance to up the stakes when we started playing, but you forgot. I wasn't going to remind you once I'd realized that it was not my lucky night. I'm referring to the cards, of course. I'm sure there are many other ways to get lucky. We could be here for a long time if we start listing them all. Well, we could win the lottery. <laughs> Isn't that what you were more or less implying? <laughs> or something along those lines. Who knows where your mind likes to wander? Mm-hmm. Same place as mine, no doubt. Don't get too used to it. Like I said, you got lucky today. The cards normally run in my favor. No, I don't cheat. I don't need to. Because I'm just lucky like that. Well, there are some games that you're better at. Like Monopoly. Yeah, I have to concede that one. You have a real knack for it. And I just like to steal money from the bank while you're distracted. <laughs> no way. You realized? You saw me. And here I thought I was being all sneaky about it. <laughs> Nowhere near. <laughs> mm, it's a bit late to start a game of Monopoly now. And I should probably be heading back to my place. Um, no, I don't have work tomorrow, but you do. Nice, a late start. I don't want you to have a grumpy morning because we ended up staying up late. And what else would we stay up late doing? <laughs> Talking, of course. What else is there to do on a night like this? Yeah, the weather really has taken a turn, hasn't it? Not that I mind. <laughs> Since when were storms too dangerous for me to be outside in? Mm-hmm. Of course, when you put it like that, it makes so much sense. It would be madness for me to chance it. And how could I forget the main attraction for tonight? The blazing fire you built for us to stay warm on such a stormy and scary night. It would be senseless. To head out into the face of danger. Mm hmm. Can I confess something? I don't really want to go either. I guess that's settled then. We can ride out the storm together tonight, huddled by your fire. What are we missing? Hey, don't go. Okay, but be quick. You wouldn't leave me all by myself, would you? <laughs> Go on. Huh. I like your line of thought. You've got enough pillows there to start a war. What exactly are your intentions? I would hope that they were all good. Can you blame me for getting a bit nervous when it comes to you and pillows? It's a healthy concern. <laughs> I would normally be tempted to take one of your t-shirts, but it's a good thing I'm already in your hoodie. So you can't say I didn't come prepared. If I get too warm, I'll trade you for a t-shirt. What do you mean, if you'll let me? 
Is that the precedent you're setting for this evening? I am beginning to question how amicable your offer was for warmth and shelter from the rain. <laughs> and on the flip side, I could have been trying to trick you. Come on, slowpoke. Let's get under this blanket. I love this one. It's huge. We can both completely disappear underneath it. Yeah, I'm good here, babe. Let me know if your arm starts falling asleep. You never say anything. <laughs> I can always wriggle about and move to the other side or move lower down. Okay, here is perfect for me too. And to think how differently things would have gone if only you had remembered that we were meant to be playing strip poker. <laughs> For starters, I wouldn't be in your hoodie right now, or much of anything. <laughs> no, you can't backdate it. It doesn't work that way. You'll just have to remember for next time. What other ways? That is true. The night is still young, but I'm happy cuddling up with you right now. There's nothing quite like nights like these. You really can't beat them. With the storm raging outside, I'm torn between two choices. Well, the first one we are actively participating in. The classic huddled in a blanket, sharing our warmth with one another. The other option, <laughs> I'm sure you can guess. You know me too well. I'd happily head out into the rain and dance about, getting soaked to the bones. Yes, party pooper, not today. I only got ill at one time. It was a little colder than I thought it would be. Summer rain is just different, I suppose. And I do feel bad that you had to look after me for the whole week after. I know, honey, but still, thank you. I should have been a bit more careful. It's just one of those moments that doesn't seem quite real. Me and you in the rain. I wouldn't go back and change anything. I'll be a bit more careful next time. <laughs> I'm never careful enough. Well, one of us has to be somewhat sensible on occasion. <laughs> we seem to take it in turns, though. That works pretty well, for the most part. <gasps> Did you see that? My eyes were closed, but that lightning was so bright. And wait for it. Gosh, I love that so much. The sound of thunder is so deep and rich. No, I'm not scared of thunder or lightning. I was when I was younger, but I think that's normal, isn't it? I don't know when the switch flipped, and I started to like it. What made you think I was scared of it? When was the last time I called you like that? Oh, yeah. The electricity had gone out. And it was a pretty big storm. How do you know I was scared? And that I wasn't just checking up on you? Uh-huh. Yeah, I might have been making sure that you didn't feel scared during the storm. <laughs> I know. Sweet of me, right? Do you want to know why I called you? Really, really? Well, you know the lights had gone out. So I'd lit some candles and... I'd opened the curtains in the window. Because I wanted to enjoy the rain and let the breeze run through the room. It always makes me feel good. I was curled up on the sofa, just like this. And I was really missing you. I wish that you were with me in that moment. And that we could have been enjoying that time together. And that's when I called you. I remember the first thing you asked me was if I was scared. 
I was tempted to play along in the hope that you might come over to my place. But I didn't want you out driving in the storm. <laughs> I know, right? Without me, as well. Unthinkable. I tried to convince you that I wasn't scared, but I guess you thought I was trying to hide it. It was a bit spooky without the lights, but let's be honest, I have no short supply of candles. <laughs> exactly. I could have supplied everyone in the local area. I did try to convince you I wasn't really scared, but you thought I was being quiet and made the assumption. I didn't think you were worried about me. I was just playing along. It was better than the alternative. I didn't want you feeling bad that I was feeling a little upset because I was missing you. But at this point, you should pretty much assume that I'm always missing you. Mm-hmm. Even right now. No, I'm not sad right now. I don't think I'll ever forget that evening when we were done talking and I was laying in bed missing you. You called me back and told me to open the door. Honestly, I didn't see it coming. You really did make my heart skip a few beats that day. I was already so in love with you by then. And that night was... No, I'm not getting shy. It was wonderful. And this evening couldn't be more perfect. The rain, the fire, and a constant shower of your kisses scattered across the evening. I really couldn't have asked for more. <laughs> no way. I was just thinking whether the lights would hold out for much longer. What wonderful timing. We could get the candles, but that would mean detangling ourselves from this blanket and each other. And I'm afraid that that is not something that I can allow. <laughs> nope. And anyway, the fireplace looks stunning like this. Like we're in one of those lo-fi YouTube videos. They help me to fall asleep, especially on the nights that I don't have you. Well, maybe you should do something about that. Mm -hmm. I don't doubt it. Hmm. That sounds nice. Hey, was that a yawn? No, it's not allowed. Because you're on lo-fi duty. Or we could whisper sweet nothings to one another until we both fall asleep.